All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me again with the clean symbol. My name's Jeff. Today we're going to be using some lemon pledge. There was a couple of uh, requests or inquiries over at Drummer World about um, if pledge would work on maybe some different coded uh, symbols. Um, some come to mind, or you know, Peisty, uh, Sabian. This one had a lot of lacquer coating on it. I call lacquer, it's basically a clear coat uh, or a, a protective coat, depending on which manufacturer you're, you're talking about. And um, it, it does also work on traditional finished with no coating or lacquer as well. But I figured this would be a nice one to use. This is about six or maybe seven years old. Uh, it's been used quite heavily. Um, it's a nice symbol. Uh, and uh, let's give it a shot. I'm going to shake this vigorously. Some people talked about using multi-surface pledge. This is all I have. The lemon should cut some of these, uh, should cut some of the fingerprints off right away. Uh, if you go to Carnegie Hall and you forget everything except the can of lemon pledge and your stick bag and a symbol, you're going to do some performance art. It's sold out. This might be the perfect situation for you to try this. So, wet symbol and a wet rag always reduces scratching. We're gonna go along the grooves or tonal grooves as best we can. And see what happens. I can really, I can really smell the, um, the lemon in this. Uh, I can actually, what's more important is I can smell the reaction. Uh, it's the same smell that a lemon juice treatment would yield, right? I don't know if this stuff is gonna stay on the symbol. I just don't know. Um, I got the impression it was silicone or wax-based a long time ago. It does talk about uh, different uses here. It does say wood furniture, leather, granite, and stainless steel, which is very interesting to me because it always worked so well for polishing up old rims and things like, or cleaning them, I say polish, but cleaning them, you know, an old snare drum you pick up or uh, just some crap basically on your shells. So I don't know, this feels very slick to me. Um, and I'm gonna flip this towel. You know, let's make sure we have a nice flat surface here. I'm not really buffing, I'm rubbing. Stick marks are still visible. Everything looks nice and shiny though. Those stick marks that you see there, I don't know if you can see those. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a bit of a battle. Oh, you got some scratching on that side too. That's a bummer. Okay, um, not from this of course. So it feels very, very slick. I mean, you really, you gotta be kind of careful with it. I mean, really careful actually. Now I took off my jewelry as well, so. Let's try applying it again and see what we got. There's a lot of those drying marks, towel marks, and some fingerprints. Okay. Let's see what we got. And don't forget to wipe the, the, uh, the previous section down. Or I should say the front of the symbol. <laughs> the top. It's been a long week again. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my rag is nice and soft. I would imagine this would work fine on brilliant finished symbols as well. That heavy lacquer or clear coat that some Pisces use, uh, they do make a protectorant. They make some kind of a, of, a, of a shiner upper and a cleaner. I don't have that. I don't know if I would, if I bought a Pisces, I'm not sure if I would use this first or if I would just go right to their cleaner. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and Oh yeah, it's shining up. This seems to work just fine. This has a, a coating on it. You're gonna wanna really take hold of this symbol too. I mean, this is super, super slick. And as I guessed, a lot of these fingerprints came off. Why? Because of that lemon extract or juice that they use. Wow, that looks really nice. My only concern is really is handling the symbol. It is so slick. 
Does it put a coating on? I'm not quite sure. I'm really not. Um, let's get a drier side to this microfiber towel that you guys all know and love. And let's just keep rubbing in a nice circular motion. This surface feels wonderful. Really. Kind of like a, a nice foot massage. <laughs> I could do this all day. You got to be careful. This is slick. Wow. And there you have it. That's a nice, almost instant shine. Does it put a coating on it? I don't know. Part of my gut is telling me you should probably wait. Maybe do this before you go to bed, before you go to work. Maybe give it some time before you would do that. This has a heavy lacquer coating. Let's try one that does not. Let me put this down somewhere safe. How about buy my wedding ring? There we go. Woo! Wow, that's pretty darn good. Okay, I'm not happy about those. I gave this to my son and some of his friends had a good time when they were young with that symbol. Okay. Let's try this beautiful 18 inch heavy ride from UFIP class series, obviously. Oh boy, it's got some use. Let's try this one too. Same way. My son was like, yeah, you're gonna clean that symbol, dad? I'm like, yep. He's like, let me make it dirtier for you. He put his paw prints all over it. Isn't that great? Okay. Here we go. I didn't dust this. I didn't wash it. I'm just basically using this stuff. It did have a bit of a gold patina, which I was making fun of in the later, the earlier video I did. Um, and so far, oh wow, yeah, it looks a lot better. And the, I'm noticing the more I rub, the slicker the surface is getting. That tells me there's something being left behind. Maybe I should go with the rotocasting, huh? That direction, you could probably see it. This symbol was old. It came to me in pretty bad shape. It was from a distributor who closed on the East Coast and it sat for a long time. I polished this symbol a good two times and it's life. I've had it for a long time. Here you go. There's a lot of uh, uh, fingerprints and looks like some drying. Uh, maybe not have washed all the water. I've uh, dried all the water out of um, all the way. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks. I know I made a faux pas. Okay, let's try it again. See, I'm flipping my towels a lot. Again, try to go along the grooves as best you can. And yes, there is a lot on there. Duh. Now, this does not have a lacquer on it. This does not have a protective coating on it. Um, and it's kind of hard to rub around, which leads me to believe now that it's soaking into the metal. Well, maybe not soaking in, but, you know, absorbing. Wow. I'm actually having to almost buff. It does have some marks. This has more marking than I thought. So it arrived to me in pretty dismal conditions in terms of splotching. There's a lot of tarnish on it, a lot of water marks. And I had to polish it a couple times to get that stuff out of there. But I will say it is not bad at all. Nice and slick. Be really careful with your towels here and be really careful of handling this thing. It is super, super slick. 
So it, it feels like it has some kind of coating on it. And this is a really great symbol. You know, and I wanted to say too, guys, I I don't take this lightly. I don't want to just go to a pawn shop or a used music store, buy the worst symbol possible, and then do this. I'm showing you my babies. I take this, well, rather seriously. I know you guys have your investment and your babies, and you want to make them clean and, and take care of them the best way you can. So I'm showing you the symbols that I actually use. That's why I'm doing this. Um, no BS here. Wow. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, I hope that helps you out. Because this one here has a lacquer coating. And this one does not. And already they're more brilliant. Um, that yellowish hue has been, for the most part, removed. And I'm quite happy with it. Now, follow me over here into the pit of agony. I'll get a new stick and we'll see how these sound. Now, this doesn't matter because you didn't ever hear it before. Anyway, but I thought you'd get a kick out of this. So here's the 18 inch UFIP Heavy Ride Class Series. Stop. Let's play you, big fella. Oh, this is so heavy. This is like the heaviest symbol I've ever owned. Even heavier than an old Peisty Signature Series Power Ride. My finger. Nothing they do with their hand. It's not working. Okay. There are a little bit of stick marks. But they're not that bad. So I'm going to call this project done. I don't have a Piesty, something super high polish with a lacquer. That was not good. You didn't see that. Okay, that's very slippery. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.